Hey, what's up everyone? So I definitely wanted to make this video based on all the reception I've seen online towards Batman Arkham Shadows. Now, of course, yes, it is the topic that alone pretty much turns people off from the conversation or even attempting to even seek out anything regarding this game due to the fact that it's a VR exclusive Meta Quest 3 um, addition to the Arkhamverse. Whereas like people wanted a AAA console game, people expected a new Arkham title to be, you know, for consoles. And even though there are some rumors that we might be getting another title from Rocksteady at least, whether it's connected to the Arkhamverse or not, I can't really tell you. But this game definitely is canon. Has been confirmed to be within the same continuity. This game, as far as I know, takes place a few months after Origins. So we're going all the way back. That's why we still have um, Roger Craig Smith as Batman, which he reprises his role from Origins. It wasn't Kevin Conroy. Um, among some other characters as well that were in Origins. <laughs> Don't want to spoil anything. But overall, it's like it's like people again. I remember when it was announced. Even I was shocked. I, trust me, I was shocked. I was stunned when they showed the trailer. I was like, okay, this is good. And then I saw Meta. And I was like, wait a minute. And then when they actually showed the end in the, in the headset, I was like, crap, crap, crap. You know, I can't believe this. You know, they they, they they've done gamers wrong. This this is atrocious. This is disgusting. You're not gonna make money this way. That was kind of in line with my mindset, even though I think that's quite unfair to have that mindset. I mean, I, I, I get it. It, it. it You know, with sales, with availability factor, because people are not going to buy a, a headset, especially a one that, that's costly as that, just for, to play one game. I mean, you are a passionate fan. If you do it, I'll give you that. But <laughs> don't look my way because I'm not I'm not for that practice at all. I'll be honest, you know, I, I, I watched the entire game on YouTube with um these uh, walkthroughs and, and, and these cutscene videos or whatever. But um but I'll say this, it definitely does my heart wrong to see that this game state might be through the gutter. Not in terms of reviews, but in terms of people actually playing it. Cause I, I can tell you with complete confidence this is a worthy installment in this franchise. This is a good title. This this game is great, in my opinion. The story is so masterfully done. Lots of, of raw death and emotion. It's an emotional roller coaster between Batman and the other characters surrounding this specific um story. That it's it's like, oh my gosh. Imagine if this was like a full game. I probably would have melted <laughs> playing it. And I, I feel like, I mean, they've done lots of, of cool stuff. I mean, seeing the Arkham combat in first person being done <laughs> in this way where you even get combos and stuff like that, you know, stuff you, you're used to seeing in actual third person games, console games, where it's like, oh, first of all, it looks kind of funny, you know, seeing Batman take down um, these characters, these enemies that way in first person because you, you <laughs> it just looks funny to me. But it's like overall, yeah, no, it's, it's done pretty well. You, you get some challenging stuff as well with like the detective mode and, and obviously solving like these type of contraptions and stuff like that to progress through the game, among other things as well. Again, they definitely, it's, it's like, it's like the, the Arkham formula is very much alive there. And, and the people worked on, who worked on this game are, are definitely people who um care about consistency. <laughs> but it does remind me of a video I previously previously made where it's like, yeah, they do take some leeways with like Arkham lore. They do change change some things. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know how people are going to take some of the stuff, but they, they I guess they they did a good job explaining it as well. So maybe people won't be that um mad about it. I mean, Arkham fans all together. I know the subreddit can be kind of like you know full on Arkham Asylum maniacs, but it's like. I feel like people probably won't care that much, especially with what's going on in Arkhamverse right now. So it's like, <laughs> if anything, that they made the right choice to release this game now to, to bring us back to like a, a, a type of, of formula and type of setting that works. Because like, right, the state of the Arkhamverse right now within canon, oh my lord, you know, <laughs> where do I even start? 
Um, <laughs> referencing on another game, of course. Um, but but yeah 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 yeah. Going going back to like the actual game itself, you no, know, it's, it's 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 fantastic. I, I've seen lots of people, lots of gamers who do have um those headsets are are just having fun, and and it, it does. I mean, to see people content and happy with this, despite again the the, the actual um way you play the game. That that still you know it still works wonders. It still shows you that people are 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 as long as, long as you're having fun. Then I think that, should, that that's the only thing that should really matter. Even though again, the, yes, I, I get it. The the availability of the actual game is stopping and restricting limited people from actually having fun. That's the worst thing about it too, in my opinion. And 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 don't don't I, I don't feel like I'm really trashing the game because I, I do support the game. And and I, I and I have enjoyed what I've seen. Obviously, I, I'm I'm limiting myself because I can't play it. But you know, seeing all all these um people just going around playing a game, making other videos as well in terms of the lore, the stories, the character, all that stuff. I mean, that that's that stuff that you know I haven't seen in a while from from Arkham fans. You know, <laughs> um, especially positive um talk about the Arkhamverse. But yeah, that 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 is something where it's like, you you, you by default you had to talk about that whenever you cover the game because it's like that that's one of the things that in my opinion ruins everything. Where it's like people are gonna complain about that, people are gonna be sad because they can't play it. Because yes, there's there's there are some people in my opinion that were never gonna give the game a chance because of the that factor. Or they were instantly going to call it bad, even though we we have had a VR game before, Batman Arkham VR. Then it come out like in twenty seventeen around there. Um, but I feel like that that is one of, that's some of the discourse I've seen where people are, are are treating it unfairly, and then some of the other people are like, "Damn, I wanted to play it, but I can't, and I'm definitely not going to waste that much money just to play it." <laughs> And yeah, that 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 is disappointing. You know, I feel for those people. You know, I'm I'm probably one of them to be honest with you. Because if I could play this on console, I would. Doesn't matter if it's you know, first person. It might have a, a you know, it might have different um, buttons, control, or whatever. But um, o- overall, I just want to say that you know, it it is um. We we just had to accept it. The, the the studio pitched it to um to WB as as you know what it is, and we just had to accept that. And hopefully we'll get because look, I'll say this: even though I won't be, I'll probably never be able to play these games. Yeah, why not make a sequel? Or or if anything, you know, if they do want to um make an an actual Arkham title, but like the one we we're, we're used to seeing. Add on from this, why not? There's there's lots of cool ass things in this game, so it's like why not just keep on moving forward? I mean, if you want to go t- right to the future, go ahead. But like like I said earlier, the, the Arkhamverse lore right now and continuity is kind of like, yeah, we're <laughs> until everything's um done and settled with the previous game in in this franchise. I'm pretty sure we're kind of fucked. <laughs> 